Diary. Hello, it's late at night and it's the middle of September 2020. Um, I'm here in the cave with my able assistant uh, and I've just spent 20 minutes rowing, but it wasn't boring. And the reason it wasn't boring is because I was watching a variety of YouTube videos on my new latest and greatest um, concept, which is a large TV in front of the rowing machine. And so that's the subject of tonight's uh, video, which is setting up a large TV in what's effectively our sports room, which is the cave. So the idea is to have uh, something to, to look at. And I selected this TV. Uh, it's not perfect, as I'm about to explain, uh, but it's food for thought on your possible configuration. So this is a 50 inch 4K TV. Uh, we're in the cave, so there's no aerial socket. But what there is, is sufficient internet connection for either wired ethernet. This is connected via wireless ethernet, quite fine. Um, and it's going down a power line connection. So it's only a few megabits connection, but it's absolutely fine for, for 4K um, YouTube. And we have this 50K, 50 inch 4K TV, which is proving absolutely fine. This in fact is a Hisense H50 6100 series TV and the price to me was well under £300. It was below 250 in fact. Uh, so why would I recommend this TV or this configuration? Well the basic configuration is fine, although this TV doesn't have Bluetooth. So what you have to do is to listen to the ample speakers of the Hisense TV, but at, at high uh, activity rates on the rower, the rover makes quite a lot of noise from the fan and so it's a little bit difficult to hear uh, conversation. Music is absolutely fine. So the workaround would, is, is in either of two ways. Workaround one, which I haven't implemented yet, is to take the audio out from this television and feed it into a Bluetooth um, receiver and then I'd be able to connect a regular pair of Bluetooth headphones such as these Sony noise cancellation headphones to the TV that way. And that's because this doesn't have um, a native Bluetooth connection on the TV. And possibility two is to do what I've already done, which is to fit an Amazon Fire Stick to the back of this TV. So the only um, input, apart from the internet signal, which is done wirelessly, is on the HDMI 1 socket, which is here. If I click on that, you'll see we'll go to the Amazon Fire TV. So on the Amazon Fire TV, we've got many more options. We've of course still got YouTube, which is here, but then I've also got things like iPlayer or ITV Hub or, or Netflix or Prime Video. So all of these things can just be a, a button click away. And this happens to be the 4K Fire TV, but if we go into settings here, and go down to Bluetooth devices, you'll see that in other Bluetooth devices, I have configured the Sony MDR-ZX770BN uh, headphones. I've also got a Bluetooth speaker, but I found out in practice that this headset, which has got active noise cancellation, once those uh, headphones are on, you can really cannot hear this fan at all. But it's very, very low level. So yeah, that's my winning configuration so far, but that's an extra £40 for the Amazon Fire TV. And bear in mind, this TV only cost just over £200 for the 50-inch 4K TV. So all in all, I think if I had my time again, and a bit more time, I'd try and find a television with Bluetooth. But I, ju I just couldn't find one uh, in a time scale and for this price. Um... I have an Amazon Fire TV that's spare, so it's not it's not really an extra cost. So that's what I recommend. I recommend for rowing as a recovery exercise, which is what I'm using this rowing machine for. I'm still not very well. And for anti-boredom, I'd obviously recommend a helper, such as you see on the left, and also a stimulating video source, and that would be a... Uh, a decent uh, television. I'd obviously go for 4K since this is uh, 2020 and not uh, 1999. And uh, I think the job's a good one. Okay, I hope you like uh, like the uh, like the idea. And uh, speak to you later. Bye.